there, this is Teacher Harrett. Our topic is all about word problems involving linear equation in one variable. Our objectives, at the end of this video, the students will be able to Number 1. Perform the concept of linear equations in one unknown to solve problems. Number 2. Apply the concept of linear equation to the real world. Sit back, relax, and let's learn together. Before we are going to solve word problems involving linear equation, let us identify first the steps in solving word problems. Step number one. Read the problem carefully until you understand what is given and what is asked. Number two. Assign a variable to represent the unknown value using diagrams or tables as needed. Write down the variable represents. Number three. Write the equations using the variable expressions. Number four. Solve the equations. Number five, state the answer. Is it reasonable? Number six, check the answer given the original problems. Let us solve some word problems. Solve the problem and type the numerical answer. The sum of a number and 13 is 32. Find the number. Let's review first the word problem. The sum of a number and 13 is 32. Find the number. Solution. Let x as our number or our variable. Our equation will be x plus 13 is equal to 32. Use the subtraction property of equality which allows us to subtract 13 from both sides of the equation. Cancel 13 from the left side of the equation and subtract 32 minus 13 and you are going to come up with x is equal to 19. So the number is 19. Let's have another word problem. Still solve the problem and type the numerical answer. A number multiplied by 5 and then divided by 6, the result is 15. Find the number. Let's review first our word problem. A number multiplied by 5 and then divided by 6, the result is 15. Find the number. Solution. Let x be our number or our variable. So our equation will be 5x divided by 6 is equal to 15. Use the multiplication property of equality which allows us to multiply 6 from both sides of the equation. Cancel 6 from the left side of the equation, then multiply 15 times 6 from the right sides of the equation. Then we will come up with 5x is equal to 90. Then use the division property of equality, which allows us to divide 5 from both sides of the equation. Then you will have x as equal to 18. So the number is equal to 18. Let's have another word problem in terms of geometry. Still solve the problem and type the numerical answer. The total length of all the edges of a cube is 108 centimeter. Find the length of one edge of the cube. Let's review first our word problem. The total length of all the edges of a cube is 108 cm. Find the length of one edge of the cube. Solution. Let x be the edge of the cube. And we will come out 
with an equation 12x is equal to 108. Use the property of division which allows us to divide 12 from both sides of the equation. Then, we are going to get the value of x which is equal to 9. So, the edge of the cube is equal to 9 cm long. Let's have some vocabulary words before going to our another word problem. Younger than. Mark is 2 years younger than Lisa. Let x equal to Mark. So, our equation x plus 2 is equal to Lisa. Older than. Best is 4 years older than Gus. Let x is equal to Gus. So our equation, x plus 4 is equal to best. Let's have another word problem. Still solve the problem and type the numerical answer. John is x years old. His mother is 24 years older than John. If the sum in their ages is 72 years, how old is John? Let's review first our word problem. John is X years old. His mother is 24 years older than John. If the sum in their ages is 72 years, how old is John? Solution. Let X be John's age. Then X plus 24 the mother's age. John plus mother's age is equal to 72. So we are going to come up with our equation as x plus x plus 24 is equal to 72. Or simply 2x plus 24 is equal to 72. Then use the subtraction property of equality which allows us to subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. Cancel 24 from the left side of the equation and subtract 72 minus 24 from the right side of the equation and it will become 2x is equal to 48. Then use the division property of equality which allows us to divide 2 from both sides of the equation. Then our answer will become x is equal to 24. So final answer, John is 24 years old. I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you and see you next episode.